Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we understand our question. The program has to accept the string s yes and integer n as the input and print the n lines based on the following conditions. So the first line first we should have n minus one asterisk and then first character of yes and in the second line we have n minus two asterisk and first three characters of yes and then in the third line we have n minus three asterisk and so here it is next to three characters so the same way here also next to five characters of yes in reverse order then here in the fourth line we should have n minus three asterisk and the next seven characters of yes and then in the fifth line we'll have n minus Five asterisk and the next nine characters of yes in reverse order. Similarly, we'll print the other lines, and if there are no more characters in yes, then we have to print hash. So first we are going to accept the string yes and then the integer n and print n lines based on the following conditions. So the first line contains n minus 1 asterisk and the first character of yes and the second line n minus 2 asterisk and the next 3 characters of yes and third line n minus 3 asterisk and the next 5 characters and similarly we will print the other lines and if there are no more characters in yes we have to print ash. So now we will take our first test case. So here the string yes and the integer n 3 is given. So n minus 1 is 3 minus 1 is 2. So we'll have two asterisks. And then the first character of string yes is yes. Then n minus 2, that is 3 minus 2 is 1. So one asterisk and the next three characters. And then n minus 3 is 3 minus 3 is 0. So we'll not have any asterisks, but we'll have the next five characters of yes in reverse order so this is it and this will be our output now we'll take our another test case so here the integer n is 4 so n minus 4 sorry n minus 1 is 3 so we'll have 3 asterisk and first character of yes and then 2 asterisks and the next three characters and then one asterisk and the next five characters so here we have only four so we'll pad the ash and we'll print the five characters in reverse order and then for the fourth line n minus four so four minus four is zero so there will be no asterisk but we'll have the seven characters as ashes and this will be our output.
Now let us implement our program. First we'll get our string yes. So for our convenience, we'll pad the ashes for 10,000 times. So if there are no more characters, we'll get the ashes and we'll get the n as the input and then we'll have a variable called index equal to zero. And then for CDR in range one comma n plus one, we must print the asterisk with the condition of n minus one, n minus two, n minus three like that. So for that we use n minus CTR and use end argument. And then we have our condition that is if the CTR is equal to equal to one or CTR mod two equal to equal to zero, then we must print the S of index to index plus CTR into two minus one. And in the else part, we have the same, but in reverse order. So let's see. So here the index will be incremented to CTR into two minus one. So the index is one means one into two minus one is one. And then if the index is two means two into two is four, four minus one is three. And if the index is three means three into two is six, six minus one is five so we'll get the index like this so now we'll take our test case to understand it better so here we have ashes And then if the first index is zero, so we'll have three asterisks. It is n minus CTR. So we'll have three asterisks and we'll go to the condition. Yes, the CTR is equal to equal to one. So we'll print from zero to CTR into two, one, two minus one is one. So for the first character will be printed. 0 to 1 so first character then the index will be incremented to 1 and then for the next line we'll get two asterisks and then from 1 to so CDR is 2 so 2 into 2 4 4 minus 1 is 3 so 4 so the characters will be 1 2 3 will be printed that is e l e and then for the next line one asterisk and then it does not satisfy our condition so it will go to the else part where we'll have the index as phi that is it will be incremented to phi and then here the index will be from phi to phi plus so CTR is 3 so and then we have 10 so phi to 10 in reverse order And then after getting from 5 to 10, then the index will be incremented. It becomes 7. Sorry, the index will become 10. And then 
for the next line it is from 10 to 10 plus 7 that is 17 so from 10 to 17 in reverse order that is ashes will be printed and this will be the output so now let us execute our program we'll pass our first test case so yes we have got the correct output now we'll pass our another test case and here also we have got the correct output our program has passed all our given test cases successfully Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.